Hello, and welcome to the Carter Community College's Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA, orientation. This grant-funded program is provided in partnership with the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board and NC Works. This presentation is designed to provide you with basic information about the WIOA Youth, Adult, and Dislocated Worker programs so you may make an informed decision when preparing for your future career. Before we discuss the WIOA program, it is important you be informed about the services offered at the local NC Works Career Center, as these services are free to all community members. The NC Works Career Center offers work search assistance, specialized veterans employment assistance, training and educational program information, career counseling, telephone access for interviews, copy and fax services, labor market services, and the Career Resource Center located in the NC Works Center offers resume writing software and assistance, online work search services, a place to file unemployment benefits online, and resources for resume writing, application completion, cover letters, interview preparation, and job search resources. The NC Works Career Center also offers TTY communication devices and headphones if they're needed. It is recommended that job seekers register at ncworks.gov prior to coming to the center or while at the center. There's also a mobile app for NC Works that can be utilized by job seekers. The Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act is designed to help job seekers access employment, education, training, and support services to succeed in the labor market. Adults, dislocated workers, and youth or young adults who need assistance entering or re-entering the workforce may be eligible for the program. To be eligible for the WIOA Youth or Young Adult Program, you must be between the ages of 16 and 24, not be attending any school with the exception of a basic skills program, and you must fall into at least one of the following categories. You are a high school dropout. You are within the age of compulsory school attendance, but have not attended in the current school year. You are the recipient of a high school diploma or its equivalent who is basic skills deficient or an English language learner, and you are low income. You are an individual subject to the juvenile or adult justice system. You are homeless, a runaway, or a foster child you are pregnant or parenting, or you are a youth with a documented disability that presents significant barriers to work, school, or training. To be eligible for the WIOA adult program, you must be 18 or older. There is currently a priority of service in place, so individuals who are veterans or eligible spouses, recipients of public assistance, or other low-income individuals who are basic skills deficient are given precedence over others. Training services are available to individuals who are unlikely or unable to obtain or retain employment, are in need of training services to obtain or retain employment, have the skills and qualifications to successfully participate in a training program. The selected training program is directly linked to the employment opportunities in the local area. Individuals are unable to obtain other grant assistance and are determined to be eligible in accordance with the priority of service and effect. To be eligible for the WIOA Dislocated Workers Program, you must be 18 years of age or older and you have been terminated or laid off from employment through no fault of your own. You were self-employed but are now unemployed as a result of local economic conditions or due to a natural disaster. This category also includes individuals who have been providing unpaid services to family members in the home and has been dependent on the income of another family member, but is no longer supported by that income. This category also includes a dependent spouse of a member of the armed forces on active duty who had to resign their job due to a permanent change of duty station or family income has been significantly reduced due to deployment, call to active duty, or a service-connected death of a service member. To see a complete list of eligibility categories for dislocated workers, please visit the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board's website at www.ecwdb.org or contact your local NC Works office. 
The available training services for dislocated workers are the same as for the adult WIOA program discussed previously. To be eligible to participate in any of the three WIOA programs, you must be able to show proof of your U.S. citizenship or legal alien status, have a valid social security card, proof of your age, and have registered for the selective service if applicable. If you are a male 18 years or older and have not registered for selective service or need your registration letter, you may do so at the Selective Service System site www.sss.gov or by calling 1-888-655-1825. Additional documentation will be required and requested by a WIOA career advisor to support your category of eligibility. Once eligibility has been determined, you will be required to take the TABE, the Test of Adult Basic Education, to determine your skill level complete a career assessment inventory, and take the Tradeify personality assessment. It is also recommended that you take the Work Keys assessment to get your North Carolina Career Readiness Certificate, also known as the CRC. This certificate is proof that you have the basic skills common in today's workplaces. Subjects assessed include applied math, graphic literacy, and workplace documents. We also offer free CRC preparation with the Worldwide Interactive Network. Many employers in our region prefer job applicants with a CRC and some require it. You may be required to take the CRC depending on your training program. Once you have completed the TABE, Career Assessments, and Tradeify, you will have a better idea of what training program is best suited for you and your goals. Here are some additional details about training to help you make your program decision. The WIOA program assists with short-term training for up to two years. This time can be used to earn an associate's degree, certificate, or diploma. Funding amounts are limited to up to $4,000 per year with a maximum of $8,000 per two years. While this should be enough to complete your training, there may be additional sources of financial assistance if available. Training providers must be on the NC Works eligible provider list and programs and providers must be approved by the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board. Short-term pre-vocational services such as test preparation may be approved. Some programs not approved include those that lead to totally commissioned or fee-based careers such as real estate, cosmetology, and massage therapy. In order to choose which program and training providers are approved, the Eastern Carolina Workforce Development Board has published the Career Pathways Training Options Guide, which can be found on their website at www.ecwdb.org, or you can obtain a hard copy at your local NC Works Career Center. Training programs are approved based on high wage, high growth occupations in the region. Promoted industries include advanced manufacturing, aerospace and aviation, construction and skilled trades, health sciences, hospitality and tourism, and transportation, distribution, and logistics. These industries provide the best opportunity for full-time jobs with family sustaining wages and upward mobility. If all of this seems overwhelming, do not be alarmed. You will be assigned a career advisor specializing in the WIOA program who will be with you throughout the entire process. Your career advisor will perform case management, assist you with labor market research, and set you up with required assessments. They will develop a career plan with you, provide guidance, and work to provide you with on-the-job training and other work experience opportunities. Your career advisor may also assist you with any other issues that arise personal or academic that may interfere with your training and help you keep you on track. They also may assist you with supportive services such as transportation, child care, or emergency financial assistance on a case-by-case -case basis. Most importantly, your career advisor will be a coach and cheerleader on your career pathway journey. 
Your career advisor will work with you to develop an individualized service strategy or ISS for the youth program or an individualized employment plan or IEP for the adult and dislocated worker programs. This is an individualized career service that identifies training and employment goals. The ISS or IEP determines the combination of services you need in order to reach your goals. It is also one of the most effective ways to serve individuals and coordinate services. One goal on your ISS or IEP may be to participate in a work-based learning opportunity. There are many types of work-based learning opportunities, including apprenticeships, job shadowing, and internships. Career advisors use their connections with local employers to provide work-based learning opportunities, such as on-the-job training, or OJT, and work experience. On-the-job training is an opportunity to engage in full-time employment, earning a paycheck while you are learning to perform your job duties. You will receive retention support from your career advisor, and it is expected you will retain employment with the company once the OJT is complete. Another work-based learning opportunity is work experience. This provides for full-time or part-time employment, which is great if you are also in a training program. Work experience provides career exploration, the ability to earn while you learn, and gain valuable employability skills. The hope is that a work experience will turn into an unsubsidized permanent position. The main goal of the WIOA program is to assist you obtain gainful employment. The Young Adult Program provides 14 elements to help you gain the knowledge, skills, and abilities to obtain a great job. Here is a comprehensive list of services you and your career advisor may deem necessary to ensure your success. Tutoring, study skills, and instruction are evidence-based dropout preparation and recovery strategies that lead to a secondary diploma or recognized equivalent, alternative secondary school services, paid and unpaid work experiences that have academic and occupational education as a component of the work experience, occupational skills training, which includes priority consideration for training pro programs that lead to recognized post-secondary credentials, education offered with and in some contexts as workforce preparation activities, leadership development opportunities, including community service and peer-centered activities, supportive services, adult mentoring, follow-up services, comprehensive guidance and counseling, including referrals to mental health and or substance abuse services if needed, financial literacy education, entrepreneurial skills training, services that provide labor market and employment information about in-demand industries or occupations that are available in the local area, and activities to help prepare you for transition to post-secondary education and training. Career services offered through the WIOA Adult and Dislocated Worker Programs include skills assessments to learn more about yourself and choose a career pathway in which you will be successful, Job search assistance to decrease the amount of job searching you will do alone and increase your chances of landing a great job with great wages. Resume preparation to increase your chances of finding a great job with a professional resume. Job listings to reduce the amount of time spent searching across different job boards. Career planning and development to increase your skills and potential for work. Connection to high school completion and high school equivalency or GED programs to increase your competitiveness in the job market and to become eligible for a post-secondary training program. Occupational skills training for a specific career for assistance with obtaining post-secondary diplomas, certificates, and degrees to increase your earning potential. Literacy skills to increase your basic reading, writing, and math skills to become competitive in the job market or eligible for promotions in your current workplace. Workshops such as job searching skills, resume writing, and interview skills to increase your chances of obtaining a great job with a great salary. Supportive services to increase your chances of success in a career pathways training program. Financial literacy workshops to help you make the most of your earnings once you land that great job 
and labor market and employment information, career awareness, and career exploration that will assist you in choosing a career pathway that will lead to a high wage and in-demand job. When setting up an initial intake meeting with a career advisor, you will need to provide the following documentation. Proof of US citizenship or legal alien status, proof of a valid social security number, preferably a social security card, proof of residency, and if applicable, your selective service card or registration letter. Again, a career advisor will inform you of other required eligibility documentation based on your eligibility category. For more information or to set up an intake appointment, please contact a career advisor at the NC Works and Big Rock Career Center located on Carteret Community College's campus or by calling 252-222-6038. You may also email one of the career advisors listed on this slide. We look forward to hearing from you and helping you on your career pathway journey.